right, well, he's been there before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting. And this may be his last title shot if we have to get the win tonight. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you got to win. Or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work from the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He would prepare. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champion. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out if he's got the goods to be a champion. Big win over Joe Duffy in 2019, and a lot of people think eventually Jacasey is going to find his way into that top. As Jacasey has tried to make his way into the top of the team, he has had to shore up some of the holes in this game. As you saw in the close fight, he had a lot of difficulty clearing the clinch position. Was not able to get back to the center where he can use his striking advantage. This guy is a very well-rounded kickboxer, has a background in boycott, but was not able to use any of that in the fight against Jakar Close, and it showed because he didn't get his hand raised. But when he went back against Joe Duffy, you saw the improvements. You saw how he had identified the weaknesses and started to work on it, and it led him to get his hand raised. And I got to think of a video game setting. Pretty fun guy to play with. Mark Jacasey ready to go here tonight. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. And a lot of several moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But, John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Oh, that's how it's done. The shot and then delivers the straight counter. Nice kick there by Jacasey. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Slips the punch. Shot to the body, turned back by Jacasey. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Fast pace here in the early going. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where the number land strike. A couple of chins here being tested early. Authority the body. Pretty good straight punch there by Jacasey. Lands the lead right punch. Not there. Just over three minutes to go. Counter punch is good by Jacasey. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow time. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, good block there. Circling to his right. Nasty body kick downstairs. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing the ball. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combination. Oh, how good is that kick? Oh, a huge block there. Oh, 
just over two minutes, round one. Oh, how clean is that jab by Jacasey? Head kick. Clean punch right there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Jacasey gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, now they separate. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, so now we start to see some... Good work blocking to me. Oh, nice elbow. Look at those weapons. Look at how he moves his knees to the bottom. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked to try to find that shot again. 20 seconds left. He lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Jacasey's eye now closing up. Five minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Come All right, round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut off this time. Slips the punch. How technical is that? Nice straight punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice overhand left. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Just missed with the left there. He got to the clinch. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded 
kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Circling away towards the left now. Jacasey's hook shot is blocked. You saw that coming from a mile away. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Under two minutes to go. Hooks to the body now. Now some separation from his clutch position. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking touch. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Devastated body kick land. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. He's cut. Get the elbow. Jacasey's overhand punch to the head. Look good for a second. Ultimately, that one gets broken. And a cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Under 20 seconds now to go. Able to land a combination there. Final seconds here of round two. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship yeah. fight. Yeah. Our next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth at Leg kick lands. Kick blocked by Jacasa. <laughs> Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Rips the body there. There's another one. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. With conviction to the body. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swell. Oh, nice. Oh, huge elbow! Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh! Oh, big left hand! 
Just over three minutes to go in round three. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body, and they might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like oh. right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's blitzing. It's hard to watch, man. Very hard to watch. Oh, slips his head and counters with a hook. Nice job by Jacasey. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Nice spinning attack there, able to land to the body. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Jacasey's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, he didn't like that one. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. <laughs> Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Always be closing. Busy in the clips here. The punch is good. 90 seconds to go. Punch got blocked there. Circling towards the left now. Lands a solid kick right there. Jab. Jacasey's really bleeding heavily now. You gotta think they might bring in the ring. That is it! Four here tonight. 